All right, guys, so in the kitchen this morning, the roadie deal of the day is the Calamari Festival. And we are lucky enough this morning to have Muse Tavern with us and Chef Ryan. And you were just, we were just chatting about this festival. You, know, you guys have won some awards before. What have you guys yes, won? Yes, we did. Last year we won uh, Best, uh, Most Team Spirited and, awesome. and uh, Most Creative Dish uh, with, with the dish that we're preparing today. So what are we making today? Because it's a lot of fun, colorful, yep. different ingredients over here. So what are we making this we're morning? We're going to do a uh, fried calamari with a grilled pineapple margarita salsa. Wow, okay, so that's a mouthful, so I'd say yeah. that a hundred times. Absolutely. I love it. So can you bring me through these ingredients? Because I'll tell you what, they look delicious, they smell delicious. Absolutely. And we were talking about the center stage ingredient over yeah. here. So, so what have, do we have? We have some uh, fresh Point Judith uh, calamari rings and tentacles. Okay. Uh, we have some fresh pineapple, uh, red onion, jalapeno for a little heat, um, cilantro, and uh, lime. Now, when you're bringing all of these together, too, I mean, we were just saying, too, we have the pot in front of us. You're going to be frying it um, right yep. here. Yep, and right I was, here. you know, like, we, I kind of always joke that I'm not that great in the kitchen, but I didn't know that you could do this just yeah, with a could. pot. Yeah, so, what you, did you say? You oil have to be was? very careful. We use canola oil. Canola it's oil. neutral. It's got a high smoke point. Um, and so you're not going to, you know, smoke up your kitchen as long as you have a pretty decent. You put the fan on. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. And it really is. It's going to be a lot of fun because I love salsa. Yeah. And I know we were Everybody saying, does, like, yeah. right, I was going to say, everyone loves salsa. Who doesn't love tequila? Well, 100%, right? This is great bringing all these more. marrying all these ingredients together so it's going to be a lot of fun throughout the show to see us kind of put everything together and i have to say too is this what i'm smelling the pineapple up front i'm smelling yeah, something grilled, really yeah grilled pineapple um yeah and it, you just do that right on your own yep you just grill it right on the you know on your grill outside or if you have a grill pan like this it you know I love just it. really brings out a lot of uh it, it caramelizes the sugars uh on, on the uh, pineapple and bring that's kind of a, a a rich layer of flavor. You can smell it. It yeah. smells so good. Well, thank you so yeah, much. And Ryan, you. keep watching throughout right. the show as we assemble everything together. Back to you guys. It's That's so speedy, and she's in the kitchen. We're having a ball. Can you see us? Can you see us from way back there? Can you smell? <laughs> yeah, it's smelling great. Yeah, we are back in the kitchen. As we talked about before, the Calamari Festival is the roadie deal of the day. But we are in the kitchen with Chef Ryan from Muse Tavern. Now, I told you guys before, we're making fried calamari with a grilled pineapple margarita salsa. Sounds so delicious. And right now, what Chef Ryan is doing is we're starting out really like the first step. So what are we doing over here? Yeah, so I took the uh, pineapple and um, quartered it, took the uh, the skin off, yep. took the core out, and I'm just going to grill it for, uh, you know, about so a minute. So you don't actually slice it up. See, I've never actually grilled a pineapple before, so you took... Everything I know when you're taking off, that's when you kind of just dice it all up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, just gonna. And what did you put on this beforehand? Just, just a little, olive? just a little bit of olive oil, just okay. so it doesn't stick. You know what I mean? But and so you just go gonna, back and forth. Yeah, we're just gonna get a little bit of char on there, just to uh, caramelize those natural sugars and. That's really... what I was just gonna ask you. What kind of color do you want it to be, so you know it's done? Because you don't want it to be too obviously overdone. Yeah, we don't want it. You know, I mean, y y you can. You can get. You can. You want to go a little bit darker than that. You know, a little. Uh, Sorry, little, oh, there we go. Yeah, just, just, so just, just to bring like out that. those natural sugars. It's you know obviously easier to do it on a gas grill, but this is we're going to improvise. Nice and easy. So this yeah, is so that, that's that kind of the color you're looking for so right there. So this is the color in yep. front yep. that you want over here. Yep. This and that's really, that's really going to bring out the sugar and um, you know add a, a a layer that you know. So uh, that adds to the taste. Yeah, then, absolutely. Obviously. And texture. And the texture, yep. which would be important too for the salsa as we go along. Yep. Okay. So, so now. After these are grilled, what do we do after that? We take them right after off. After those are grilled, yeah, we're going to take them off. Kinda okay. When they're cool enough to handle, we're going to dice it up, and we're going to throw together our salsa. Um, we got a red onion here, so okay. I mean, we can start, you know. I love the colors too. You have like the yellow, you have the greens, you have the purples. Yeah. It really does. I love eating things that look pretty. People eat with their right. eyes first. Exactly. They do. People do eat with their eyes first, and this is definitely one of those. These are like a pretty colors all putting together. Yep. You dice that so fast. Nice I would have completely chopped off a finger. Yeah, you got to be careful. Right. You did. You, you flew through that. So we're gonna keep grilling all this over here. Yep. This smells so good as it's coming together. Is that the natural sugar is really coming out? Absolutely. That yes. smell. Yes. I wish we had smell of vision. We don't. We but don't. I can tell you right now, firsthand, it smells delicious. So Chef Ryan's gonna keep on doing this. Wait for the last segment. We're gonna be a longer segment, putting everything together, talking more about Muse Tavern. And wow, look at this over here. It looks so good. I'm excited. So hey, keep coming on back, checking in the kitchen. Back to you guys. Back in the Roadshow kitchen this morning. Oh, we love this. Chef Ryan is here from Muse Tavern. How you doing, buddy? I'm well. How are you? He's hard at work. I know. You've been, You've been working him hard in here. I'm trying. I've been trying to crack the whip. Calamari today, a specialty. Uh, what have you been doing so far? What do we need to know? We want to try this at home. Come see you. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So I had just have a regular um, stainless steel pot here. Uh, 
and I got a candy thermometer in there to tell me exactly what my fry, uh, oil temperature is. What uh, does it have to hit? Uh, yeah. three, 350, th between 350 and 370 is good okay. for, for, for uh, calamari. You know, things usually heat up in the kitchen whenever Audrey and I are <laughs> well, in. I mean, so I'm just that saying, goes without being I said. hope that doesn't play a role or have an effect on the dish at hand He's like, here. no, then only 320 <laughs> if you guys are in here. <laughs> so the oil, uh, the oil is uh, just canola oil. I mean, you can use any neutral, uh, you know, salad oil with a high smoke point, like peanut oil would work as well, but uh, we don't want to impart any, you know, kind of off flavors in there, so we're going to just use very neutral uh, canola oil, high smoke point, so you're not going to smoke up your kitchen. And calamari. I was going to ask you that, yeah. Yeah, well, we had the fan on, you know. Yep. <laughs> just, yeah, absolutely. Just heard it off for a minute. Calamari is a favorite right here in the Ocean State, you know, official mm -hmm. appetizer, mm -hmm. if you will. So this is something when people hear calamari, they have high standards, so the yeah, pressure is on in a good way because yeah. you want to make it just right. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we, uh, you know, we. Are we going to throw this in or you think right? I don't know. Wait for his word. Yeah, let's, let's throw it in there. So, I, so we took the. Uh, the squid's been uh, marinating. Ryan's way. That's all right. Come the, squid, over here for the, a second. the squid's been marinating in buttermilk, and uh, you know, this has been marinating for about an hour, a couple hours maybe. What that's going to do is that's going to uh, that, the huh? acid in the the acid in the um, buttermilk is going to break so down the right up. <laughs> the acid in the buttermilk is going to break down the protein structure and kind of act as a tenderizer. What? And it's also <laughs> going to uh, help the coating stick to it a little bit better. So every every bite is nice and evenly coated and. Oh, that's a great shot. How long oh, is this taking for? Uh, anywhere from about a minute to a minute and a half. Okay, so quick. Um, yeah, it goes pretty quick, and you've got to keep it moving so it doesn't stick together. Well, that's Just close great, our huh? eyes and pretend we're at Niagara Falls. Yeah, exactly. Wow, that's awesome. Another important thing, too, as you saw, it kind of, you know, bubbled up pretty quickly, so you yeah. don't want to fill your pot too much, because if you throw something in there, you don't want to have it bu uh, bubble over, and then you're going to have a grease fire, and, right. you know, yeah. and that's, that's not going to be good. That. What would yeah. Friday be without a little yeah. grease fire yeah. in a road show? I'm going to move back over here. So Absolutely. Yep. So I, now, where is Muse Tavern? So Muse Tavern that. is located in uh, downtown Wakefield, okay. um, South County. It's... Uh, 456. Awesome. And you've had great success at the Calamari Festival, which yeah. is coming up on September 8th. Nice shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll be there again it this did year. Go in. It did. It went right, right. in. Right. Right. I, never, I, have, I have a lot of practice. I've never done that, so <laughs> I was impressed. So yeah. uh, talk about the past success you've had and what you're going to be doing yeah. this year. We competed. Uh, this will be our third year. Um, last year, we took home two out of three. We won uh, most uh, team spirited, thanks to our awesome staff uh, mm -hmm. that helped us out. George was there. And, you know, the owners were there, and we had a great time, and we won most original, so... Um, Can't be that. That's yeah. awesome. Most original I'm going to be there. Uh, yeah, breaking news, I'm going to be hosting the Calamari oh, excellent. Fest, so unlucky you have to deal with me for the day, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're looking, our looking Rody, forward to seeing you again. Yeah, um, Rody deals of the day. So too. while this is uh, doing its thing, we have our, uh, you know, salsa ingredients here, so I diced the pineapple. We um, that earlier. Yeah, we, we diced the grilled pineapple. Um, we got some red onion in there. Going to hit it with a little bit of uh, finely minced jalapeno. Smells I took, awesome. I said the colors are beautiful yep. too when all the salsa comes together. Huh? Took the seeds out of the jalapeno because I don't want it to uh, have too much heat. I want it to have just enough, but not you know be too hot. That people, Love it. You know, can't. Uh, yeah, the can't aroma. Eat it. Doesn't it smell great? I like I like a lot of cilantro, so I'm adding uh, chopped cilantro here, and then. Um, and you know, top it off with the lime juice, A little huh? bit of lime juice, yep. Don't you love watching someone who's a master of his craft? Well, crap? I mean, yes, because I probably couldn't do just that. And, uh, and get all in together. I'm going to slide here. You're back in the middle. It makes it look seamless. You, you know, right. Chef Ryan, you're, you do. You make it look seamless. I got a great idea for a uh, calamari-themed blog. What's that? We'd call it Squid Pro Quo. I'm going to dance Squid with Chef Ryan while we're here. Yeah. Oh, we're going to add it. No, we're going to add the, gonna the, the secret ingredient, the, 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 the special ingredient that really kind of brings everything together. Beautiful. Gives a nice little kick, a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of tequila. So yeah. this is uh, just about done. Um, golden brown um, is really, you just got to get a feel for it. You have to do it a few times. Uh, you don't want to overcook it because it's going to become rubbery. Um, All right. But, well, uh, and we have one, yeah. so one we're gonna complete. So look, finished look right amazing, there. huh? This is the man, Chef Ryan from Muse Tavern. We got to wrap things up, but you can get his recipe at roadshow.com. Check out the Roadie Deal of the Day, one of the two at roadiedeals.com. Oh, Thank you very delicious. much for joining us. A beautiful display.